I'm going to show you more than 10 easy to blind by affordable fragrances alongside a couple luxury fragrances. We're going to start with Givenchy Gentleman Only Absolute. Whether you're in person or on the internet shopping for fragrances, these lists that I'm about to show you are blind by where they can be quite difficult to figure out what fragrance to buy in general. So any of these should work out for you. Ultimately, if you have a chance to screenshot this list and maybe go to the store and test them, that will be the best one. There's a couple on this list that may push the envelope to a level two advanced fragrance like this first one I'm about to show you. But as the list continues, it gets better and better and better and easier for you to blind buy. This is a perfect example of something that might push the envelope when you first smell it. You might not like it. It came out in 2016, Givenchy Gentleman Absolute. When I first smelled it, it made me go, hmm. At first I didn't like the fragrance, on my nose but then i gave it a second wearing and it was delicious actually it kind of reminded me of a fragrance called ted lapidus black soul but on the second test it kind of smells even more close to something very expensive called spice bomb it opens up like that there's got a lot of leather and tobacco in it actually the fragrance is so effing good warm spicy cinnamon cinnamon with sandalwood citruses and vanilla all mixed together one reviewer his name was shark bait said it reminds him of going to camp fires with his friends and all of their their roasting marshmallows i don't know why but actually the vanilla and sandalwood might give you that effect it's so cool sandalwood makes it so creamy with a hint of smokiness at the base maybe that's why shark bait said that because marshmallows and campfires like smoky sweet fragrance spice bomb takes a more leathery tobacco turn this is finally a five to seven hour fragrance with very, very strong projection in the first hour. It is a Eau de Palfum concentration, and the batch code on this bottle is 9101. Blind by Fragrances continues with a luxury selection called Amouage Reflection Man, opening up with Petit Grain Oil. What is Petit Grain Oil? It's like a piercing neroli, almost a bitter orange note. You also have Linilol in there, which is lavender with a splash of citrus. You have some citruses in there that smell so good. It is chemical synthetic fragrance but it's done so well there's a nice mix of naturals but more chemicals in there there is a slight touch of rosemary in this fragrance to give it some green and violet from something called isomethyl but it's high-end stuff though one might say it's synthetic i find this thing beautiful the animalic vibe in the middle is a combination of iris jasmine and musk it's easy to wear and very, very long lasting. If you can afford it and you want to try something luxury, you try this one. It's called Amouage Reflection Man. I was in Las Vegas filming a video once years ago wearing this fragrance and got tremendous results. It's good for all sorts of weather, maybe 25 years and up. If you have the means, I would highly recommend Aventus. This is one of the easiest to blind buy luxury fragrances. It's called Creed Aventus and it's coming in at $400. It smells like pineapples and citruses and nice high quality wood fragrance and a fragrance i found that's authentic that's only 70 dollars it smells like it not to be showing you the cheapest ones there's hundreds of clone makers for this fragrance this one's simply called patron de nuit it's an authentic organic feeling fragrance of this it's about 80 dollars and then there's plenty more fragrances one of the newest ones is called amber crumby fitch authentic coming in at about 35 but rare does a fragrance come and make it into my bedroom that smells like aventus and one of them that did is called hasi vat by nishane this thing is just jasmine and grapefruit hasi vat costs about 300 dollars <clears throat> but it seems to be more powerful than aventus it's by a company called nishane this is the outer box and inside you open the fragrance and you, you will reveal the fragrance itself and it looks like this right when you open this box you can smell the lovely fragrance I almost feel like buying three more backup actually I just ordered three more backup bottles of this for myself because I love it that much it's one fragrance alongside two others that I actually only keep on my bedroom dresser because everything else is all around here in this basement six hours after wearing this fragrance you will still continue to get whiffs of it whiffs means a scent sludge so 
it's a sign of a high quality fragrance. The next fragrance that I might recommend for all ages, even upwards of 65, but mainly 20 years up to 45 would be prime, is Aqua Di Gio Profumo, which is a masterpiece of a fragrance. It lasts long. It's like throwing pennies in a fountain to get compliments that easy. Another luxury fragrance is called called Cedrat Boise. It's a perfect way to add attitude to your outfit. You have some fruits in here, patchouli, jasmine, and water. It also opens up similar to the Creed Aventus, but it's in a different way. It's the dusty sandalwood fragrance that lasts a long time. This is getting so much popularity and man, this is like my second bottle of the year already. Look at that, how low it is. If you wanted to try a leather fragrance, you might find Tom Ford Ombre Leather. I don't have the bottle on me, but it's Tom Ford Ombre Leather's $180 leather fragrance at the department store and on the internet. They're selling for $130, and it smells identical to Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. So here you have a $400 Tom Ford versus a $180 Tom Ford. Almost identical, almost the same. The Tuscan Leather is more elegant, but they're both blind buy worthy if you want a leather fragrance next would be dior sauvage which was an intense compliment getter but again i told you the story where my friend gave it to her 65 year old father and that just was too much fragrance maybe he'll learn to like it this is a fragrance that if you may be not familiar you might take a, a minute to like it but most people like it at first smell and then you have to think about this bleu de chanel de parfum i was talking about I would recommend the Eau de Toilette. You got about $100 versus $130. Eau de Toilette versus Eau de Parfum. You can't go wrong with either of these. Bleu de Chanel is perfect for every weather, any situation. And I think EDT and EDP are better than the Parfum. There's three versions right now. And it's a wise choice to select. It just smells so good and sexy. How can you go wrong? And everyone likes it so you can wear it to work. Here's a fragrance you can find for $38, but it's discontinued now. It's called Hugo Boss Bottled Intense. Just think about crispy apples and woods and some vanilla in it. Four sprays in the summer, seven to eight sprays in the winter for Boss Bottled Intense. It's a great fragrance. Now, we're getting to the best, easiest to blind buy, most popular, most mass appealing, most complimented fragrances on this list. And we're going to start with... This warm, spicy, sexy fragrance called Dolce Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum intense version or regular version, and both are just an amazing fragrance. What you have here is a sweet, warm, tobacco-y type fragrance, but it's fresh. It's sweet and boozy. So this is the Eau de Parfum version, which is the most popular one. And then recently in 2020, they came out with the one intense which has a different take it's completely different than this fragrance and it's got some fruit in it ultimately this one actually lasted longer on my skin than this but this one smells better both of them are just amazing fragrances you just this is so new it hasn't gained any traction yet and i think it will in the years to come it's just when fragrances are brand new sometimes it takes four or five years to gain serious popularity to the masses that's how the fragrances in my history of fragrances that's how i've seen it. it's just like this versace eros coming up it came out in 2013 or 14 and gained huge popularity in 17 and 18 you know three four or five years afterwards so think about and don't sleep on Dolce Gabbana, the one. Eau de Parfum Intense. It's an easy blind buy. And especially this, if you're going on date night, it's perfect. You're going on work, it's perfect. This one lasting seven, eight hours. This one's lasting strong six hours. You will have to reapply it. And I just love the smell of it. I feel like spraying it on now, but I just sprayed that blue to Chanel, as you saw. Another easy to blind buy designer masterpiece is called Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit de Lona. If you want sweet, if you want sexy, look at this 200 milliliter bottle. It's just almost empty. I demolished it. I wore this to church. I wear this to all kinds of gatherings, and it just does me right. I can't resist almost. I have to smell it. It smells gorgeous and slightly spicy and sweet and women love it. Here's a helpful tip. This is the best, one of the best soapy fragrances on the market. It's called Prada L'Homme. When asking females in person, I noticed that 
I mean, I don't mean to be judging, but some of the more sexy or more modern, more trendy women were just absolutely knocking this out the park, meaning they would choose this over Versace. They would choose this over Dior Sauvage even, but that's an upscale fragrance, a gentlemanly fragrance, but fresh, soapy, clean. Personally, I can only spray it two to three times maximum because of the iris note in there, but other than that, it's a delicious fragrance. And here's a tip. I was on the other day on the internet, I type in damaged fragrance boxes on Google and I found Prada Loam. Look at that damaged box. For 28 bucks, usually it's about $50 for 50 milliliters. And let's just take it and open it and see how the bottle looks right now first. And there it is. You get a damaged box, who cares? You know, I wouldn't care if someone gave me this because inside is all I really need. You don't need the box, this is the focus. And that's that a cool tip. You look for damaged boxes if you want to do some blind buy shopping or just fun shopping and see what's out there. You'll be surprised. The price differentials are $10 and $20 off. Here's the Masterpiece fragrance. It's called Christian Dior Fahrenheit. If you're a leather jacket wearing bad boy fragrance, this is it. It came out in the 90s and still gains popularity. Comes in a box like this. It actually has spicy florals and chamomile in it. And it's got this gasoline vibe. And you can smell it even after 15 minutes. I sprayed this on before the video and it smells like this Vaseline. But basically, it has a very, very strong projection and a floral violet leaf mildly sweet dry down and if you don't want to smell like this masculine old school fahrenheit then simply get fahrenheit cologne and i would recommend this for you guys 19 years to 35 if you want it to smell like fahrenheit more modern without the gasoline vibe it's called cologne edition which means it's a lighter edition it doesn't have that bite on it both of them are excellent fragrances. Now I'd if like to turn the camera over to you and you could suggest for our viewers, because you know best what designer or luxury fragrance would you suggest them to blind buy? Please comment below. Or if you're familiar with any of these and you agree, you can comment your comment on that. Basically, we want to help people smell better for less. And what would you blind buy that you suggest to your friend? If you'd like me to make a top 10 cheap blind buy fragrance i can do that for you next week if you like and some of the titles i would consider on that list would be mont Bank legend spirit lacoste white amber crummy fitch first instinct ck1 shock to name a few i could name maybe 20 of them for you cheap blind buy fragrances and also i have this video i made you can check that one out and youtube suggesting you this video i'll see you on the next video peace and love